Hi everyone, today we're going to be making some DIY twisted candles. Fun, easy project. First, you're going to start by adding some warm water to a baking dish. Just warm water, not hot. If it hurts your hands, it's too hot, it's going to melt the candle. Put a candle in, tapered candle, dinner candle, whatever. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. Um, I didn't always do that. Sometimes I started after about a minute, like on this one. And then I used uh, for a rolling pin, that was just a dollar store vase. And just start rolling. Gently, gently rolling, um, flipping it frequently. You don't want to press too hard because a lot of these uh, dinner candles, I mean, pretty much everything these days is dripless. And those dripless candles have a kind of a skin on them. Um, and if you press too hard or if you get the water too hot, that skin will split and the wax inside is a sort of a different consistency and it melts a little easier and it creates a bit of a mess. So we did find a way to use um, these candles without having them split and it works great. You just have to work them gently and work them slowly. So every so often I you know, check my work, just keep going, flipping it, making sure I was doing uh, even rolling on both sides. I was just trying to get it flat in the middle so I could give it a good twist. Now, one thing to tell you, do not use Dollar Tree candles with this. We tried, they don't work. They are, I don't know what they're made out of. Maybe it's a higher melting point wax, but they just break. Simple as that, they snap. So we want this project to be done with, um, you know, candles that, that melt a little easier, that can be done at, in warm water, not hot or scalding or boiling. So stay away from Dollar Tree. We love them for everything else, but the candles just didn't work. So you can see it getting flatter now. Um, I think it's just about the point where I'm going to start twisting it. Yep, gently twisting, keeping it in the water to keep that temperature up. Just slowly, slowly working that twist for this one. I just wanted, um, you know, a half twist or not even a full one because I think this looks really elegant. I love this candle, just a half twist. That one's done. These are a couple that Honda did. Also look awesome. You can put as many twists as you want. Um, there comes a point where there are too many twists and you'll get uh, an asymmetrical candle, which if that's what you're going for, that's fine. Now, for this candle, I wanted something uh, a little bit flatter on the end, which is why I grabbed this tall shot glass. Wanted it flat on the end so I could bend it up over itself and have it stand up on its own. Sort of like an S shape is what I was originally going for. I was, you know, I, I was just playing around with these and that's the beauty of this. You can just do whatever you want. There's no right, there's no wrong. <laughs> it's, it's whatever the heck you want to do. So then I started bending it like this and then, you know, to an L shape, and then eventually I was gonna bend it up again. But then I started getting a new idea, or not a new idea, but just a way to make it different. And you can see right there, when I was pressing, I was getting those, you know, kind of oval shapes, kind of the scalloped edges. So I thought, okay, maybe I can just carry on with this and carry it on all the way up the candle, even the round part. But I couldn't do that with the shot glass because that would start to flatten it. And I did want that top part to stay round. So once I got the shape I wanted right here, this L shape, I just started to uh, use my thumbs. And that's the beauty of this. You can use anything, anything to shape these candles. It's, it's, it's really fun. It's really easy. We made so many of these. Our kitchen is full of them now. I don't know how we're going to burn them all. But anyway... This one is Honda's favorite. She absolutely loves it. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna do a little something extra to it at the end. Now, once you finish uh, molding these, you can immediately dunk them in cold water to set the shape, which is good if you have some uh, complicated shapes because they will want to sort of bend back or do their own thing when you take them out of the water if they're still warm. So I let that one cool and then I melted some blue wax at, with some dyes that I have and just gave it a little dip. It looks like blue and white porcelain. Porcelain. It looks so good, I think. You know, we have all the wax dyes, so we could do any color. I did do some in yellow, too, but I think this looks really good with just the blue and the white. Okay, now, for the next ones, you're going to see I, um, I colored some entire candles in blue. And I discovered by playing around with some of these that 
if you put them in the water and if you start rolling, the blue will come off. So I'm just warming this one up now. You'll see right here. Now, at first I was like, oh crap, you know, this is going to sort of, you know, ruin my project. But then I used it to my advantage to do something really cool. Pressing down like that, exposing the white, is pushing the blue wax off to the side. And the flatter I got it, more and more blue accumulated. And it's, it's, it started to give it a look sort of like tree bark, blue tree bark, which I thought looked really cool. So the theory behind this candle is going to be like the, uh, the idea it was going to be like the first one, just flatten out the middle and give it a simple twist, half twist, full twist, whatever. But with that blue crust, that blue bark, it looks really good. So again, just working slowly because that blue uh, is delicate, just like the skin of the candle is delicate. That blue, that blue is delicate as well. I didn't want to go too hard and break it off. You can see sometimes some got on the white part. You can leave it there. That looks good. I just wanted to scrape it off so I could have pure white. And just keep flipping and gently pressing until you get the thickness you want. You don't want to go too thin with these. This is good. Now I'll start twisting. Just a simple, simple, slow twist. With that blue, it really looks striking. Look at that, beautiful. watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.